In the lamp which we had slotted just now, it's still fresh. Just put with uh, marinade and uh, I don't know what they put inside. So let's see what uh, Mark said. Cooked over the open fire right here. Yep. Kadube. Mm. <laughs> Your first bite. Okay. Padu be. Padu. Padu be. Padu. 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 They connected the loads directly to the battery and they drained the battery too much. Uh, when that happens, oftentimes the battery becomes dead, it won't hold the charge. So the solar charge controller, uh, if it's used with a solar charge controller, the solar charge controller keeps the battery from becoming too deeply discharged and prevents that from happening. But in this case, they didn't do that, so we're going to see if we can save the battery. Alright, so normally they use uh, cooking oil for fuel for the lantern so they just take a small bowl put uh, cooking oil and uh, wick wick yes as a fire burner and apparently they are spending one ringgit every night for the fuel so every month they spend 30 ringgit and this system can save them around 360 ringgit per year right okay All right I'll see you all. Yeah, this is the I like they got uh, black what is it? Black mood. Yeah. What is it? Black suit. Black suit. Yeah. And yeah, we don't know what is, what is the emission uh, substance and what is the impact of that emission to their health. Okay. Mark with Exact Solar in the United States. Here with Ian, uh, Iwan from Suncroc Solar here in Malaysia. He has installed uh, an off-grid solar lighting system here for the mosque. It's got an 83 watt thin film flexible solar panel on the roof. 100 amp hour battery in the box here with the charge controller. So what that's running is five lights throughout the mosque and also the PA system. Uh, very reliable, the sun charges the batteries and the batteries power the system. So with everything set up, you can see the lights are on now. Uh, when we leave, it's gonna be set up so the lights will only go on at dark, after dark, so that way the lights can't be left on during the day to drain the batteries. Right, we are here at uh, Kampung Simoy. This is the last stop before we head back to Kuala Lumpur. We already passed all the donations, including clothes, drinks, uh, and also rice. Uh, I hope this journey and or expedition, so-called expedition, will be very helpful and meaningful for Mark from US. And did you say Mark? Yeah, it was a great experience. Uh, it was really fantastic to see Iwan and the work that he's done in the villages, helping them get uh, electricity, teaching them how to use it and how to fix it, and making sure that they get lights at night. Yep. I hope you remember this journey. Uh, even though the application is very small, but you know the impact that we really want from the beneficiaries uh, is all that thing that matter. I think it definitely makes a big impact in the people's lives here. And do a great job. All right. Okay. See you. Mm -hmm.